Hi there, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you how to get a perfect guitar take in Studio One. Now, I'm an average guitar player at best, uh, so I'm not going to win any guitar solo prizes, but there are times when I, as a composer, need to get guitar parts down. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Studio One. It's pretty straightforward. The first thing I want to do is I want to choose the part where my guitar is going to play. So I've got my guitar coming in. <laughs> Got it ready on the record track down here. And here I've got my part. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a loop. And this is where I want my guitar part to drop in. But I'm going to give myself a bar in. And what I'm going to do is do loop recordings. I've got the loop record on here, or the loop on anyway. And when I go to record, it's going to loop record. And then I've got, I want to, I want the part to go from nine through to bar 13, but I'm going to give eight as an in, input. So every time it goes around, I've got a bar to think about things before I start again. So let's do the recording first. That's pretty straightforward. Let's start recording. <laughs> Stop that now. Let's move the console out of the way. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to come here. I want to right mouse click on here and I want to go on pack takes. And if you could see here, got one, two, three, four. That's the four takes I just did. As it went round, it kept recording takes. It's now on take four. One, two, three, four. And if I go to unpack takes, I want to unpack that to new layers. And it will now show me those takes in different layers. So if I take it out of record and uh, let's take four, three, two, one. And there they all are. You see it going round. So we can we can audition them here. We can hit the solo button and listen to take one first. Let's now put that in the loop that I want, which is 9 through 13. In fact, I'm going to put snap on for a sec just for this. Get that snap to the bar. Take that back off. <laughs> jump between them. Now there's a really cool trick as well that you can use a keyboard shortcut because going round and round and listening you might forget what you've already got to. So if you press the command and the alt key this little speaker appears and we can play bits of it. go through and listen to them. So I like this bit and the simple thing then is I can just grab this and I go I want this bit so I just mark it there and it jumps up to there. So that's now been promoted to the top of the track. So that's now the first part. <laughs> so let's listen to these parts again. Press the Alt and the Command key on a Mac. That's bad. I think I like this one. So I just go in again and mark that. That promotes that to the top now. In fact, if you can see actually, we've got a bit here that's going to hang on. So I want to just undo that again. I want to get the space into. So I'm just going to mark it from there to there. I've got the space in. So let's have a listen to those two parts now. <laughs> the same as before. Now we know that bit's already in there because that's highlighted so that's showing us that this part is there, this part is there and this part is there. Let's listen to this again. 
Let's try that bit in there. So we're going to pick that up and go to there. Put that up. Let's listen to that in the whole part. <laughs> So I like that now and I could just go in now and do a bit of cleaning up. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to delete that out straight away. I don't need that. I'm going to bring this in here. And what we could do as well, we could just zoom in a bit and we could just start grabbing things and just making sure that our cuts work. Uh, there, there is, that ends there. I've got a bit of stuff there. So I'm just going to move that out totally. So rather than move that out, what I'm going to do all together is just go in there. I'm going to get my highlighter tool. I'm just going to come in there. I'm going to delete that bit out altogether. And let's have a listen to that bit. So let's just see what we've got here. And if you can see, if I go far enough, it starts creating me crossfades as well. That might work quite nicely, actually. Let's have a listen to that. Let's have a listen to what's going on here. We've got something there. What happens if we pull that this way instead? Yeah, that's nice. Got a nice thing there going on. Uh, we could go and put an X in there. Now, if we mark those two up, we press X. We've now got a crossfade in there as well. Now what I want to do as well is don't want any hard edges, so I'm just going to come in and clean a couple of these fronts and backs up. Just clean into them a bit, there and there. Give that a bit of pullback there. Then here at the end we've got a bit to clean up as well. Just clean that, dra drag that back there. Let's listen to that now. like me you've slightly OCD about stuff on the timeline what I'd also do as well is I'd probably come in then grab all of these and group them and have one part like that of course you can then undo that again so you can group it if you want if you want it just to be one single part <laughs> Oh, that's how you get a perfect guitar take, even if, like me, you're not a very good guitar player. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.